Martin Racing Performance, the most advanced parts on the planet. Oh yeah. Hey guys, here's a clip of the GY6 Power Pack on 2 Extreme TV, as seen on DirecTV. Well, this is the fun part. This little box here is a box of goodies from Martin Performance. It has a larger CD carburetor. We can't go anywhere without our big bore cylinder. It actually has a 62 millimeter piston and a larger cylinder, as you can see. I think we're gonna have to modify the cases a little bit to slip this large liner in. And then, of course, you've got a brand new piston pin. We've got a new set of rings and new clips. We have to have a set of gaskets to match our new head. And the timing chain is one piece, so when we break the timing chain, we have to put another one on, and so we have a brand new timing chain for it. If you're gonna add this much power to a scooter like this, I mean, these things aren't really designed for this, you know, for street use, they're good for mileage and commuting. But if you're gonna put that kind of power down, you better have a heavy duty clutch, is what we have right here. And then, of course, we have to have a low restriction exhaust. This is a nice high performance MRP exhaust. It should sound a little bit better, give a little bit more performance and actually keep it a little quieter than you would normally expect because sound is a real issue now. You know that. We've talked about it on all of our shows. So we're going to keep it here pretty much consistent with our scooter. So we just finally got this motor out of here from stock. We're going to go ahead and take over this table. Go ahead and mop it later. This is a four-stroke, 150cc scooter engine. Um, a lot of scooters actually are two-stroke engines. They're getting away from the two-strokes engines because of pollution and stuff and the EPA, so they're all going to four-strokes to be to have cleaner emissions and stuff. So, put a big bore kit in it, a cam, and different head, big valves. Basically, changing the pulleys and the way the spring tension is in the clutches is like re-gearing, changing the gearing on a on a regular motorcycle. We're just trying to see where the timing marks are for put, for reassembling it. I'm using that right there. I got three marks. I want to figure out the timing on it before we tear. Are we let the professionals take over? Because I have no idea you know, what's going on. I do, but I'm just, I'm just letting them do it. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I don't work on these. <laughs> We're looking at the the cam timing, trying to figure out where it was and make some marks because we don't have a manual for this thing. Or we might have one soon, but we don't have one right now. I didn't want to be lost when we're putting it back together. Got the new cylinder though? Look at that. Look at that. Manuel. Engine oil capacity. You know how to read that? 33 fluid ounces, one liter. Not bad. Right now what we're doing now, we've got this motor torn down. Uh, we're basically going to take the stock cylinder off of it and put a bigger one on. We're going to try to gain some horsepower and some miles per hour out of this thing. So what we're going to do is be putting a bigger piston, bigger camshaft for more performance, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing rocking and rolling from about 55, and we're hoping to get 80 out of this thing. How are we doing, guys? You know what you're doing there, buddy? Good. Wow. Well, let's see if that new cylinder slides up in you. You know what? That would really make... <laughs> That's a little, a little bigger, yeah. <laughs> slides through just the ring. <laughs> Rattling. Old piston. Yeah. Uh, couldn't figure it out last time. What we're doing now is we're we've got to split the whole engine apart so we can pour the cases out. But right now we're just trying to decide on how we're going to cut way. these cases out. Up. Can't really set it up in our mill and and pour it off. So we're going to have to actually end up doing is splitting these cases, pulling this crankshaft out of here, putting them back together, and going ahead and doing it by hand. That's what Dave's going to do at his house probably tonight. So uh, once he gets that done, oh, really? all set and, I thought uh, you were taking it home. I'll take one half, you take the other. <laughs> we'll do 20 thousandths on each side. We're going to try to chuck it up in the mill. We're not positive it's, it's going to fit, but if not, we're going to have to hand grind it. Roughly about a millimeter has got to come off of the edges of the case. It probably could take a couple hours, an hour, at least an hour grinding, if not a little bit longer. It's going to take some time to get it chucked up in there, but it's just time consuming when you got to do things like this. But, that's what performance work's all about. It's not fast. <laughs> yeah, and we'll get her done. <laughs> Can't say jerk it out. It's interesting. What? <laughs> Sounds perverted. <laughs> not jerking it off, we're jerking it out. <laughs> <laughs> 